Hello folks, this is Abidon. May God's peace, grace, truth, and love be with you all if you seek him in faith alone and Jesus Christ alone. The following video is going to be regarding um, a very disturbing video that I saw by uh, TVC. I can't call him a Christian anymore. I can't do it. This is utter blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. It is a complete lack of faith. In the words of Jesus, the Bible, and the Holy Spirit. Anybody who defends this position is setting him up for a cult. Because this is what this guy is, a bona fide cult leader in the making. I pray that he learns the difference. So he makes this video. Can a person learn the Bible by themselves or do we need teachers? Let's listen in. Holy Spirit filled, wise teachers. Now, many people believe that they can just pick up the Bible and study it and learn it themselves. No. Just remember he wants to wag his finger in your face. Not how it works at all. Actually, that goes against the divine order that God has. Did you know that God has a five-fold ministry that makes part of his church? Uh, there's different offices. There's the office of the prophet, uh, the pastor, you know, the evangelist, the um, teacher. So, the uh, teacher. <laughs> it's very important that we recognize that we need to submit to God's divine order in how we do Fine order. Let's see what this goes through. So he this, he does something that's called chicken McNuggeting the Bible. At least that's what I call it. He takes one verse out of context and then tries to place himself under an authority. And as you can see here, he's calling himself a teacher. All right. He takes it from 1 Corinthians 12 and look at verse 28, which says, And God hath set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps governments, diversities of tongues. So, I want to show you something. What does the Bible have to say about that? He goes down and says, The Holy Spirit teaches us, but that is through Holy Spirit appointed teachers. Now listen, there's a lot of truth in what in some of the stuff that he's saying, okay? And this is what makes this so dangerous. The devil uses truth in most of his lies. The best liars speak 95% truth. But when you go and say that you don't need or that you need teachers to teach you the Bible, what you're doing there is going against the Holy Spirit. I'm going to show you right now. But the, the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. This is John 14. 2 Timothy 3, this is the pastoral, this is one of the pastoral uh, books being 1st and 2nd Timothy and Titus. Verse 13, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things that thou hast learned and hast been, uh, hast been assured of, knowing by, of whom thou hast learned them. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. It's not teachers, not men. It is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And from that, or, and that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Through faith, through faith. Where is men, teachers? Where, where is this? Where is it, man? All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, 
fully th furnished unto all good works. 2 Timothy 4, verse 3, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts, and they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Teachers there is didaskalos in Greek, which is what he says there, which is uh, the Corinthians, sorry, this is the teachers in Corinthians. Um, let's go further. And they shall turn their ears away from the truth and shall be turned on to fables. First John uh, chapter 2, verse 18, Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come. Now listen into this, okay? Even now there are many Antichrists. For those who want to say, the Antichrist is coming, the Antichrist is coming. Ye have heard that the Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, by the way, okay? whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. But ye have an unction. And I want to show you, this is a great tool that you can use. It's called Esor. Okay, and it can show you the Greek. You can get into commentaries, cross-references. It's pretty good. And unction is chrisma. Uh, and, uh, sorry, that is the special endowment of the Holy Spirit. Okay? From the Holy One, the Holy Spirit. And ye know all things... I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that is no, and that no lie is of the truth. These things I or have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you, but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth, teacheth you of all things, that is truth and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. What is this saying to you? Now, I want to let you know something. Teachers are not a bad thing. It is good and even important to have teachers. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have teachers. Iron sharpens iron. This is how we become sharper in the word. It is a good supplement. But when you say you need teachers, you are going directly against Scripture. You are going against directly. This is heresy. You cannot support someone who teaches this. And why do you think he's talking about this? And we'll get further into it later. But as you can see here, appointed us teachers. He wants to try and wag his finger in your face. I'm sick of listening to him. So just look, look at him go. Just look at him go. Right? He wants to wag his finger in your face. And he wants to tell you that you need teachers. And if you go into that video, he points you to no teachers. He gives you no reference. In the, script, in the video himself, in itself, and in the description, he gave no scripture. It was only until after when people were calling him out that he actually put this out. You're chickening McNug chicken McNuggeting the Bible, man. You're a joke. You're an absolute joke. And you're blaspheming. And you couldn't even mention the scripture. You couldn't even read out the scripture. You couldn't name the five offices of what you're talking about. By the way, there are no more prophets. By the way, there are no more apostles like back in Jesus' ministry and not like uh, with Paul. 
Okay? There are no more like that. Read Hebrews 1, and it should be pretty clear unto you. It's, this is, if, if anybody watches this, you know this guy is, he either has no clue what the Bible is talking about, or he's intentionally misleading you. What I think is that he's chickening, chicken McNuggeting the Bible in order to prop himself up. Look, teachers, us teachers appointed, if God himself appointed us teachers, why go against God? He's trying to use scripture to put prop himself up as God appointed. Who appointed you, Mario? Where do you get this? You have, you have admitted that you didn't start reading the Bible until May of this year. You've been doing this channel now for over three. This is total BS. And you guys, I'd call him out on this. This is a joke. This is a joke. And none, it's actually, it's not a joke. It's not funny. It's not funny at all because you know what? Put it this way. Let's say I was a, I was a Mormon. Uh, because I was a Mormon. And I started reading the Bible. And I started praying to the Lord, what is the truth? To give unto me the Holy Spirit. Okay? And the Bible and the Spirit tells me that the Mormon church are false teachers. Or the Mo Mormon church teaches blasphemy. That the authority that they prop up is not correct. And you listen to someone like this. You listen to these teachings. And then you start saying, well, yeah, you know what? You're right. Prophets, apostles. Well, the Mormon church has prophets. The, they have apostles. They have, well, evangelists, evangelists, evangelists are not in that, uh, verse, by the way. So I don't know. He did get this from another verse, but anyways. And then teachers, right? The elders of the church, right? Well, that's all I need. I just need to go back to the Mormon church. Never get saved. Don't need to listen. Because guess what? Mario just spelled it out for me. I need to go back to my cult. And this is what exactly, this is exactly what this is. Because this could fit right in with any of the cults that are out there. And guess who, guess what? If you study cults, they're created by people with narcissistic personality disorder and psychopaths. This guy is the perfect example of MPD. Teachers, teachers, hasn't studied the Bible since May. Yet, by the way, when we, if he wants to go by his own, you know, his own teaching as he talks about right now, right? Here's one that I want you to go to. Neftali. Vigilant Christian Lies. Just look it up for yourself. I'll have the links down below. The Truth About Vigilant Christian and His Lies. If you go through that hour-long video, you're going to see exactly how this guy rebelled against authority or uh, against a teacher. Who, by the way, Neftali, I mean, like, I don't agree with everything that he says. I don't agree with everything that he does. But he's pretty strong in the word, okay? A lot stronger than this chump, this fake Christian. And that's exactly what he is. He's a, he's, and he's turning into a cult leader. All right? It's obvious. The, the writing is on the wall, especially when he brings up that authority. Okay? The sola scriptura of the Reformation, that's talking about only the Bible, only reason, and sola spirita as well. It's talking about we don't need the authority of the cult churches. When we have the Spirit and the Bible. I pray that you guys wake up. I pray that the Lord breaks his hardened heart. And removes him of the Jezebel spirit that's within him. Because he's deceiving so, deceiving so many people with this. These scriptures blast him apart. There's also so many others. So many others. Just read for that yourself. Anyways, folks, thank you very much for listening. This has been Avidon.